Okay. We, uh, we've been trying to have uh, this next gentleman on our program for the last four years, and he finally gave in after hearing that he'd be following Ostaro. <laughs> this is his uh, brand new album right here. It's called That's Why I'm Here, and it's, uh, this is, I believe, uh, his first album in about five years, and we're very happy to have this man with us tonight. Please welcome James Taylor.
we'll uh, pause here for station identification. We'll be right back with James Taylor. Back to the show. James Taylor is here. Very nice song, by the way. And thank you very much for being here. We've uh, ever since we've been on the air, we've wanted to have you here, and, I, and I'm glad you're here tonight. And and you know your brother, uh, one of your brothers, Livingston, has been with us before. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. wasn't aware of that. Very nice young man. Yeah, you, you uh, you've knew always that. reminded me very much of Livingston. Is that right? Yeah. In what regard? I don't know. Just you, you look somewhat like him, and uh, uh, there's something about your you know, your general uh, vibe that's sort of like lips. You, you mean all of this in a positive way? Entirely positive way. I mean it in the, in the most positive way. <laughs> uh, and, and the album, uh, speaking of being here, is entitled uh, That's Why I'm Here. And the song we heard, I guess, was Only a Dream in Rio, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. All right. Now, let me ask you about the, what the guys were singing in the band. We have the cards here. If this is about Rio de Janeiro, uh, uh, this is Portuguese? Yes, it is Portuguese. Now, what, is, yeah. what does this mean, James? Well, uh, that actually means nothing. That seems to be written out in some strange... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I see. But what, uh, what it, actually, the, the song, there's a little bit of a story behind the song. We went down there to play a, a, a sort of a large rock concert that was called Rock and Rio. Mm -hmm. And we happened to be down there uh, on, the, on the day of the first elections in 20 years. And I was taken to a, a sort of a magical mystery tour, sort of uh, whisked away mm -hmm. and spirited to this uh, place downtown in Rio de Janeiro where they were having a celebration of these elections. Mm -hmm. And it was a, uh, it was a sort of a, a, an occasion of great hope and uh, anticipation, and and uh, it was very moving. It was yeah. an amazing thing. And, and that's, that's what this deals with essentially. And, and this was the song is really, uh, uh, you know, about about that. Yeah, yeah. in a very sort of uh, personal way, uh, as it relates to me. That's yeah. very much the way I, I write, I guess. But anyway, the song means uh, the the the. Uh, the, the Portuguese means, uh, when our mother awakens, we will walk in the sun. When our mother awakens, she will sing to the Sertão, which is an area of, of Brazil, a sort of a, a hinterlands kind of area. Uh, when our mother awakens, all of her children will know and rejoice. It's very positive, very uplifting sentiment, isn't it? Well, I, I hope so. Well, Perhaps not. I'll, I'll find out because... We're about to go back to Brazil and play nope. there again. And <laughs> if, I, if I, for some reason, if, yeah, maybe you got the whole thing out of whack. It, it, yes, it was translated by a friend of mine uh, named Jim Marinus, who teaches Romance languages at, at, uh, in Massachusetts. And, so maybe uh, as a joke, he slipped something else in there. And <laughs> quite possibly. Yeah, yeah. I, I have. I have sort of uh, uh, passed it by a couple of uh, Brazilians, and, and they don't seem to balk or, or, uh, or gag too bad. Yeah. You know, so. Is it, uh, wh what is it like for you when you perform in South America? Do people, uh, uh, are, do they go nuts for you? Is it uh, crazy, or what happens? Well, I've only, uh, I've only played in Brazil, uh, uh, in South America. And the time I played there before, I was just amazed at the reception. It was really, really yeah, it was sort of... For me, it was like uh, 1971 or something. Yeah. I mean, I, I... Was this unexpected for you? Yes, it was unexpected, and it came at a good time, too. So the song is a little bit about that, yeah. too. But it was a very... I hadn't had an album out for a long time, and I sort of had questions as to whether or not I was going to... I had a couple of false starts on this album, and was a little worried about it. Yeah. It was very reassuring uh, so uh, and for, encouraging to go For a couple of reasons, you're looking forward to going back there, then. I really am, oh, yeah. That's great. great. Uh, it's called That's Why I'm Here. It sounds terrific. Good luck with it. And uh, I'm really, really quite happy you're here. Thank you, James. Thanks to see you. Oh, yeah. James Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. You have to leave now. I'm sorry. Thank you. 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 Very nice guy, isn't he, Paul? Isn't he nice? Very nice man. Fabulous guy. All right. And why did, why, did he, why did James have to leave, you're asking yourselves? Well, so we could do a little something we call dumb ads. Ah. Really? He had to leave for this? He didn't have to go somewhere? He's not got a car waiting? He's no. not uh, got a gig somewhere? Just hanging around backstage. <laughs> He's just hanging around. And so we do dumb yeah, ads. Well, we do dumb ads, yeah. Wow. Uh, how much time do we have for dumb ads? Oh, no, we don't have time for dumb ads either. My gosh, what's going on? You know, ever since these cue cards have been out of whack, the show's been completely crazy. Kevin? What is it? You want to... 
Now they want to hear the band. Sure, why not? Go ahead. Play something, Paul. Go ahead and play. They want to hear the band now.